uh, Jody Arias, she is uh, back in a courtroom this morning. Attorneys are meeting with the judge to discuss the status of the case, okay? Okay, Celeste Rodriguez is live with that. Good morning. Hey, good morning, you guys. Yeah, I'm here with Brian Foster here, attorney right here in the Valley, to kind of break down exactly what we're going to see today. Um, and we were just chit-chatting, Brian, about the, the whole idea that it's pretty wild that this thing has lasted this long. Um, and and it's, it's unusual what's taking place today with the judge, right? Yeah, it's very unusual. I mean, this trial ended, what, back in May, and we've been waiting now for nine, you know, nine or ten months to get the sentencing phase done. This is a closed-door hearing, which in and of itself is unusual, but they're supposedly going to be setting a new trial date. And so, and so the closed door hearing will take place today, the new trial date. And when that new trial date uh, is set, it's it's really a whole new trial. I mean, we're talking about Jody Arias kind of taking the stand, um, sharing kind of her testimony again as well. I mean, if we remember, we were just chit-chatting this, about this as well, that uh, she was on the stand for a month and a half maybe or something like that. Yeah, you know, this jury is supposedly not going to know anything about this case. So Jody Arias is going to get on the stand and testify again. And she did testify nearly two months last time. So it's really going to be interesting to see how much evidence this new jury gets to hear. Uh, the judge has not really put any limitations on the length of the trial so far, so I'm expecting it'll be pretty lengthy this time around, too. Do, do judges usually put, you know, uh, a limit on the length of a trial? You know, they usually do. Uh, in criminal cases, they're a lot more lax about that because it's life or death. In a civil case involving money, the judge would say, you've got a week to put your case on. You either put it on or, you know, time is up. But in criminal cases, they do let them go a lot longer. And here, Judge Stevens has let this thing go on forever. And it's pretty wild that it has taken. The other thing we were talking about was that it's unusual for this to go on this long. Oh, it's, it's bizarre. I mean, this a trial of this length is incredible. You don't see this very often, especially in Arizona. Uh, usually trials are much more compact. You get in, you get out. I mean, a typical murder case does not go on for, you know, six months or whatever the Jody Arias case did. And so the, the, the issue that happened today was that um, one of the attorneys had a conflict. Yeah, yeah. Juan Martinez, the lead prosecutor, uh, had another criminal trial scheduled for today which is the date the Jody Arias retrial was supposed to start. So in this case, the prosecution delayed the trial date uh, in the months leading up to this. The defense has delayed it with, you know, trying to keep the cameras out of the courtroom and trying to get right. the trial moved from Maricopa County to some other state. Uh, there have been a lot of delays on both parties uh, up to this point. So so one last question for you and, and just your thoughts on this. So as this new trial begins, nothing the old trial will be considered. Is that true? The, uh, the jury is going to be told that Jody Arias has been convicted of fir premeditated first-degree murder. And so they're going to be told that right at the outset. And all that they're really supposed to be considering is whether she gets life or death. So they will be considering what they call mitigating factors and aggravating factors, just how heinous and terrible was this crime, should she get life, should she get death. But they're going to be told right up front that she's convicted of first-degree murder. And then once this thing kind of gets going, you're expecting that maybe it'll be another four or five months, something like that? I, I think it'll be several months um, just because of the history of what's taken place so far. So to expect this will be short, uh, shorter or way short would be, you know, far-fetched. It's going to go on for a long time. Okay. All right, Brian Foster, attorney here in the Valley. Thank you so much for your help. Appreciate it. Thank you. Kind of breaking that down for us. Uh, guys, we'll send it back to you. As you know, we're, we're going to continue to cover this story with Jody Arias, uh, and, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the coming months, how long this thing actually does last, and, uh, and whether or not maybe it'll be postponed another time. So uh, we'll keep you updated, guys. Okay.